Quick body, young Dan, RVD Tree 2000, also known as Dan, two times 15 on Xbox Live. Welcome to CWA, folks, today I'm joined by Jack and J Rock. How you doing, guys? I'm doing amazing, Daniel. I'm super excited for today's CWA episode. Not the only one. There's some amazing matches tonight, so let's get right into it. Welcome back to CWA, ladies and gentlemen. As, as the first match we have tonight is a championship contenders match between the Gentlemen's Club, Drew Gulak, and the CWA general manager, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, versus the DIY... Versus uh. the... W.A. Tag Team Champions DIY. Uh, I hate to correct you here, but the C.W.A. Cruiserweight, well, Cruiserweight, well, Action and General Manager is Deep Ryan Kendrick, and not Gentleman Jack Gallagher. But carry on. <laughs> well, thanks for correcting me. Yay! Hey, you're welcome, buddy. That's right. As Jay Rook said, it's DIY here. Uh, facing the Gentlemen's Club, Champions versus Champions, I think. Uh, but another Champions Contenders match, another lesson. Those brand new shiny looking belts, Ch uh, Jack, let me ask you, what do you think of these brand new belts? After the last belts were horribly designed, and the des person that designed those horribly designed belts from previous uh, got fired. And now <laughs> it's been. We've hired a new guy, and they are the raw, here they come! The Raw Tag Team Champions, I was right! Oh, I would like to mention about those belts. They now look fitting for a champion, or champions in this case. The old belts, they were good, but... Eh... Uh, but these belts, they look fitting for the champions like DIY are. Indeed, and speaking of champions... If, imagine J Rock if the Drew Gulak and Gentleman Jack Gallagher, the Gentleman's Club, want to win here tonight. They could possibly end up being dumped with champions. What are your thoughts on the Gentleman's Club? And the Gentleman's Club. They are pretty great, but they are nothing and absolutely nothing compared to the CWA Tag Champions at DI. Indeed, indeed. It's just, it looks like we've got Johnny Gargano starting things off here with, of course, Gentleman, Gentleman Gallagher. Indeed, and That's what a way to start. As, uh, Jack, oh, whoa, whoa, watch out now. Uh, tell me, I want you to tell me, how is how are you feeling after that huge ladder match you was in? Are you talking to me or Jack, by the way? Oh, sorry, I know, I got you two mixed up for a lot. The actual Jack. Talk about it, because I was... All I had to do was maybe hit Ted DiBiase one more time in his legs, and he would go down. And then I could climb to the top and get that million dollar championship in my debut. But he... Yeah, he got the title on. It's win. okay, Jack, because you are still gonna be in the Royal Rumble match along with your no, 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 I'm, not, I'm not just going to be in the Royal Rumble match. I'm going to win the Royal Rumble no, match. I'm I'm win. Win. I'm, no, no, you're not, Jack. I wouldn't be talking smack. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm actually gonna win. The okay. Oh, oh, well, oh, I got some. I'm sorry, but are you guys forgetting something? Are you forgetting that I'm in the Royal Rumble match too? I will eliminate you both. Good one. Good one. Good one. I think we should focus on what's going on in the ring right now. As gentlemen, Jack Gunnigan will not. You know what, guys? Why wait until the Rumble? Hey, hey, I'm I'm happy to wait. That was a fail on a burn itself as gentleman Jack got again! Oh, what a nice uh, crucifix there. And, and yes, I'm gonna wait until the rumble, but hey, Jack, you wasn't there you uh, when I announced that my friend Jacob is gonna be in the Royal Rumble match too. So there's one for you. And also, oh. didn't you mention that your friend Scott will be in it too? That is true, he did mention it to me. 
Oh, no! Wow! Jolly got no, there, I mean... Tomatsu Chump are also in that men's war role. And they yes. are not getting and... any momentum <laughs> here. So since we were talking about the ladder match earlier, let's talk about someone who's on that ladder match who won the match. Ted DiBiase will now walk, enter the Rumble as the Million Dollar Champion, possibly. He could drop Pass it, but he might enter the Rumble as the Million Dollar Champion since the Fiend relinquished it when he won the Universal Championship in the first episode. And now the Fiend... That is the true. Perfect. But anyway, now when you with Johnny Gargano. In the corner! Don't have a drop kick! I'm surprised he didn't make the tag there, but I think he is now. Oh no! What? Tommaso Ciampa? What, what the hell? It's the Royal Rumble season, man! It's getting to him! Tommaso? Uh, he gets back on the apron. He just played mind games with his own teammate? Like. You guys have a tag chance together, come on! Uh, that's strange tactics there from Tomas on. I, I totally agree, I mean, but the fact that, you know, the Mitchell of Control, the Royal 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 won a true gulag. The gentleman Jack Gallagher, if they was to get a pit bull victory, folks, I would be amazing. Uh, I mean, from one Jack to another, what is your opinion of the gentleman's club? Ow. They are a very, very skilled tag team. You know, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of what you said earlier, Jay Rockers. Oh, they don't have a speck of fur uh, on, you know, the current CWA tag team champions. But, uh, I, I suppose their skill, obviously, they have probably the most punchable faces I've ever seen. But their skill in the ring, as we're seeing in this match, is incredible. And, you know, They've been on top for most of this match, and it's just like, just a slight example of their amazing talent. I don't like them, but you can't deny their skill is amazing. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions for a reason. And a blind tag, really? It's oh no! Oh, what the hell is this? No! Where's he? Johnny! Johnny! Tag Team Champs! Oh my god, it's up! A... Oh, that's him! Did I have the ball? No, look what it. happens! Look what happens! Johnny Gargano! Oh my god, it's all breaking down. There's an uppercut. Um, baffled on the tactics of the Seed Career Tag Team Champs. They're what? They keep turning on each other and... What? I'm it's... baffled. It's going to be the Royal Rumble season. The fact that they are both on separate brands, and not only that, they are, well, in the, both in the Royal Rumble matchup. Oh, oh there we got it! There Boom. we go! Boom. Boom. There it is! These are the champions I see. It's, uh... What? What's that about? Two, what? How unbelievable! Good lord! Go with me! I suppose Jack and I can, can even stand enough to be double super kicked in the skull. Gentlemen, Jack Gallagher, I can tell you this is God be trying to get back into his match up here. Irish whip into the, the corner. The gentlemen's club are getting closer to being the number the number one contenders for the CWA Tag Team Championships because this is, like we mentioned lots of times before, championship contenders match. Oh! oh, oh. This what a slam! And Tommaso Ciampa gets attacked by Drew Gulag and wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, so Southern Night Suplex by Drew it's Gulag! Here, or Gulag. One, two, Oh, yes. me too. Holy a two count by God. He's up like that. Tommaso Champa, he's got a part of it. I don't even know. Oh, but right to the knee. To the knee. knee to the fat, knee to the chin. Uh oh. Oh, Tommaso oh, no. Champa going into that. He's removing the turnbuckle. Uh, oh, oh, my oh. oh. Will that happen at the Royal Rumble? It could do! And a 
who wants to have this? Even would be eliminated. And Drew Gulak gets him back into the ring. Oh, oh wait, no, no, wait, the Gulak! Oh. The Gulak! The Gulak! The Gulak! That'll be it. Rope for Oh, it's a rope! Oh, that's rope saving. Oh, now the rope. tax settlement Jack Gallagher. Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> The boundaries of teamwork are being pushed here. Not only is it the boundaries of stamina and the heart V superstar, but the teamwork is being pushed here because, as we've seen, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, I think they're a bit hesitant to with each other, really, here. Like, oh, flip in the knee and missed. Oh no, it just goes close line. Missed it. And now cut these gentlemen. See, you're right. The gentlemen's come on actually working together. Compared yeah. to DIY here, what a forearm! They're getting, they have a strategy, they're getting these frequent tags to, the, to each other. Oh yeah. my god, it's oh. busted up! Oh, Gulak. Oh, wait a minute, it's yes. 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 There it is! You can see it under the top of his eye! Oh man! Oh, the boot. This is what is. And if they lose this match, it really doesn't matter because they're still the Raw Tag Team Champions. So if they mm -hmm. win or lose, it doesn't matter. It's a win for them in the end, anyways, because they're still the Raw Tag Team Champions. Oh, but Tommaso I... Ciampa charging up on Drew Gulak. Here we is, go. Is it gonna oh. hit? Fairy tale ending. Fairy tale ending. Connect. It connects to Drew Gulak. They do know how much the Generals Club would like to be One, the champions. Two, I don't think one, be. Oh my! You are gonna be joking! Okay, my bats weren't very high for the gentleman's club, but now they're starting to get, my hopes are my bets are starting to get higher for the gentleman's club. Wait, going under the ring? I think he's lost it. I think he has. A steel chair that he does know this isn't Oh wait a minute! I just, no wait wait a minute! Referee doesn't see! Onto the chair! The referee didn't see the air raid slam or whatever that was. Onto the chair. Oh. Drew Gulak. What is this? Oh. On the apron. What a knee. No, come on. Stay focused with the match. Maso Champa has lost it. He here. He's just gone. disqualified. He's gone completely oh, insane here. He has lost it. He couldn't get his team to score. Oh, going after the rep. Johnny oh, got it. What? The belt was wrong. Tommaso Champa. Oh, that shot with the chair. What, the, what was Johnny Gargano must be think, thinking here? His uh, teammate is just cross from the match, and you guys do know what that means. That that oh, that, that since the gentleman the gentleman's club won by disqualification, they still won, which means they get a, a CWA championship match. Could yes, this true. lead? Could this lead to the gentleman's club becoming double tag team champions? Well, we'll have to find out, but I, I don't understand what, I think it's the frustration and the build-up for the Royal Rumble. But, hey, look at that! Ten stars! Oh, huh. look at that on, on the top of your screen, look! This is a ten-star matchup ruined by a disqualification. And the frustration of Mr. Thomas Champa. Guys! We're going to go to the next match. Now welcome back to CWA. In the first matchup we saw some fucking scenes as Tommaso Ciampa lost it. And coming to the ring now is that man, El Mago Jr. But we actually don't know who he's going to be facing. 
All we know is a mystery opponent. He all Almago knows, I think, is he's just going to the ring and he could be facing anyone. It could be as the big show or it could be Holmes <laughs> level. We don't know. What makes you think it'll be the big show? I mean, it could be well. anyone on the roster, it could be anyone back in the locker room, it could be anyone from Raw, SmackDown, WWE Legends. We won't know until making his entrance. What? Oh. Oh, it is the one and only. It Here is Ricochet. His opponent is Ricochet, the one and only man. Oh, I am a huge fan of this man. I believe he should be at the very top fighting for world championships. Just to have a look in this match, just the moves that Ricochet is able to pull off. And Dad, what do you think about this man? I'm with you, what do, I, what do I think of this man? He is the, he is the former Cruiserweight Champion in my universe mode. So of course I love Ricochet. He apologized for, like, for turning his back on the fans a long, long time ago in my universe mode. He turned his back on the fans, but now he's rejoiced and he's apologized ever since Survivor Series. He is back in the right, the path of righteousness. He still has that aggression, he says. That aggression helped me out when I was the Cruiserweight Champion. But I'm out there for the fans, I'm not there to support everybody, and I thank you for supporting me even throughout my career. And no offense to El Mango Jr., but he's gonna go back to the Indies when I'm finished with him. <laughs> and the current Oh my good grief! And if you guys oh, wow. don't know, the current cruise CWA Cruiserweight Champion is Ali. Yes, and he's gonna be in action tonight. In a championship contenders match, and Ricochet not giving Mr. El Mango Jr. any time to breathe. And wait a minute, uh -huh. El Mango Jr. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, sunset flip. And if you guys don't know, at TLC, it was a ladders match between Finn Balor and Ali. It was kind of crazy. Let's look at some replays from that when Mace interfered with the match. Oh my, oh my god! god. There's the replay goes! Well, that is I'll... what I was talking about! The skill of Ricochet! Launching over the ropes. Well, let's look at the replay where one of my favorites when Actually, Mace got involved with Ollie's match and put Finn Balor through the announce table. Indeed, indeed. Well, while these replays are happening, I will say this matchup is not. It's, oh, wait a minute! El Mango Jr. is back on his feet. Oh, that's not that corrected. Oh, wait wait a I, I have a thought. Do you remember when El Mago came out? You thought, oh, I'll get an easy opponent, and this man came out. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, a 450 splash! One Into the cover one. Oh, kick. Okay, I kick a ball of El Marco Jr. Ricochet, his ability to just a uh, springboard 450. Oh my. Let's, let's go, Ricochet. Come on, Ricochet. You got this. Uh oh, oh bring you know, bring you know, it's an idol, bring you an idol, bringing out a move from his idol, The Rock. The except, people's moon soul. Except the rock didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, oh my oh. god! Who are you serious? Why won't you stay down, El Mango Junior? <laughs> what the? Oh, detonation kick. I think Indeed. that's what it's called. Uh, well, El oh, Mango may need to stay down for his own safety. There's only three numbers that's going to happen now. Six thirty cent time. Bang! There it is! Um, one, and to the cover, one, two, three! three. There it well, is! You said there was, there's only going to be three numbers. But there I was knew six that was there. Be a squat. 630, right. one, two, three. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Oh. I knew this was going to be a squash match. Squash match. Oh, oh that's a good one! Classy! Taking hands on our ricochet! Oh no, Amalgo Jr. raising Ricochet's hand. Good sportsmanship by Amalgo Jr. and Ricochet. I absolutely Classy. agree. 
very, very classy. And Mango Jr. thinking it was going to be an easy opponent, but turns out it was not. And I might say, well... It turns out it was a squash match. Indeed. But, that, this, oh my god, it was a, a, a six-star match <laughs> this time round. Um, but, yeah, but next up, the WWE, or CWA, through the wet champion, Ali, in action, against, well, in a, against a contender. Who would it be? We'll find out next. Alright. Uh, Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to CWA and here comes a former D United States Champion on my universe mode The former WWE Champion on my universe mode Pete Dunne And gentlemen, we, uh, well especially me and Jack, we love Pete Dunne the, 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 Br the British Cruiserweight from, from, Dud from Dudley, England I just love this man. He has beat Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship in my universe mode. And he also beat Kevin Owens for the United States Championship at one point. Let me, Jack, and the stuff view your opinion on Pete Dunne. Wait, Jack? J-Rock? Yes, I am here. I'll tell you my opinion about Pete Dunn. He is he is one of my he, I think he is a good competitor, but he but oh he, he's just a tad bit higher on the So yes, J Rock, you were saying that Pete Dunn is amazing and Jack, what's your opinion on Pete Dunn as retribution make their way to the ring? Oh Pete Dunn, a fellow Englishman like myself. Love his style of wrestling, that joint manipulation he's become so famous for. Just he just breaks his fingers like let's let's do a throwback to his debut in the Royal Rumble, yeah. where he literally snapped Alistair Black's finger. Just like and that. Here comes the WWE, the CWA Cruiserweight Champion Ali, along with His Majesty's Retribution, Mason T Bar. At at TLC, it was a ladder match between Finn Balor and Ali for the Cruiserweight Championship. And as I said this earlier, Mace interfered with the match, putting Finn Balor through the announce table, and then and then Ali picked up the victory. That cheeky little son of a bitch. Oh, and then Ali picked up the victory. That cheeky little it's like he's leading a pack of dogs out there into the ring. Stop, Mason. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, got those two. They would. Uh. Did you really have to call them dogs? <laughs> <laughs> After we uh. just went through. Uh, I'm sorry. I won't mention it again. <laughs> Why is Ollie on the outside of the ring? Because he, you know, he wants to take well, his take his time. Getting into the ring. He wants that ring to be clear. That's why he sends Mason T Bar into the ring and when it comes to single matches to make sure nobody's in there so that he can get in that ring whenever he wants. And remember, this is a championship contenders match, so if Pete Dunn wins, not only has he pinned the champion, oh, but what the hell that is means... this? Look at this. Oh, that means me. that means that Pete Dunn will get a CWA Cruiserweight title match opportunity later on in the future. Ollie being cheeky with P Dunn going to the outside of the ring and hiding and hiding with retribution, Mason T Bar. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen as Pete Dunn Oh no! Oh running Kirk and Rana. I can tell Pete Dunn right now is pissed. What the Ollie the negative energy from Tommaso Ciampa has spread. It has, doesn't it? The thing is, I wouldn't be surprised if Mace or T-Bar got into interfered in this matchup. They could distract the referee and uh, they could distract the referee at any point, and Nolly could 
use an illegal move like a weapon or maybe a low blow or something like that. Indeed, because the, the aggression... Oh no! Peace so out! my time to Shibar! Oh, Holy! No. It was an accident, obviously. Pete Dunn moved out the way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Having what some the? words. Having some words with Pete Dunn. Having a little chip chat. A uh, tea break. They're having a tea break. Haha! Oh, no leg drop! Now, let me ask you this, Chuck. If you're still there. Your thoughts on this brand new Retribution team? Right here. Have, or, have, or have you thought We're of not. with your microphone not being plugged but in again? The first time we ever saw Retribution was in a match. At, in a tag team match. I can't remember who they faced because it was in a, it was a quite a bit ago. Oh, but a standing Spanish fly by Ali to Pete Dunn. But I do remember that they first debut in a tag team match. Three. Indeed, they did. Indeed, they did. And um, when he have some technical difficulties, J Rock, Jack, are you there? What the hell? What the what hell? The hell? Oh, what happened? Oh, 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 he's stuck. Is this ass okay? I have no idea. Do you need to go to the butt doctor? Mm -hmm. I think he broke his butt. I think he did. This is a squash. Basically a squash match. This is Ricochet versus oh, Amago Jr. Him. all over again. It's working. It is working. Oh, Jack, are you there? Hello, oh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Quite well. Oh, uh, apologies for that. Part. Audio difficulties again. This is oh! This is a mugging, honestly. I've never seen that move by Ali. Top and This roll. is the end. 450! 450. That's it. One, One two, two. Three, just like I called it, a squash match. He's using when you've got Retribution to his advantage as Mustafa Ali is the leader of Retribution. But this is basically Ricochet versus Amago Jr. again, another squash match. What when you've got monsters like Mason Seabar and you Oh no! Oh, no! No! no. What's it to Ali? Attacking Pete Dunn and the referee trying to stop. Busted for Ali, the cruiserweight champion. Nobody's not listening. In his horrible season, the negative energy from Tommaso Ciampa has spread to the cruiserweight champion, Mustafa for Ali. My God, Mustafa oh. Ali has absolutely lost it. He is the cruiserweight champion. Damn it! He's not exactly setting a, a good example here. And remember, play well, J Rock, Jack, to get us ready for the Royal Rumble. It'll be this time next week on CWA that we will see a 30-man Cruiserweight Royal Rumble matchup. The winner of that matchup will go to WrestleMania to face Ali or whoever the Cruiserweight Champion is come WrestleMania for the Cruiserweight Championship in whatever stipulation match they want. Are you guys ready for that next next week? Yes, and we're also ready for the main Rasta Raw Rumble that all three of us are in. So we have to go prepare for the Raw Rumble. But we'll see you guys next time. Yes, indeed. We'll see you next time right there at our Vinny Trick 2000. Also known as Time. Fifteen minutes and Xbox Live. Until next time, it's a goodbye from me. A goodbye from me, King Jackson. A goodbye from me, Chandler. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to watch the previous video, click on the video on the left. But if you want to watch the playlist, then click on the video on the right. Also, feel free to click subscribe by clicking on the Master Chief icon on the top.